の第4試合を行います And now for the fourth match. 青コーナーよりクイントン・ロッピージ・ジャクソン選手の入場です And here he comes. I, I guess you could call this fighter a bad boy because for sure Quentin Rampage Jackson speaks his mind when he damn well sees fit. Oh, yeah, that's right. I spoke to Quentin about Fentolay. And uh, that was just unbelievable. He, yeah, yeah he, he really speaks his mind. He always speaks his mind. Look at this. Here we go. The move. Oh! Yeah, here he comes. He's the man. Like I said before, he's the bad boy. Right, boss? He is the bad boy. But you know what? Outside the ring, he is the nicest person. But once you go inside the ring with him, he totally changes. And until this far, he has been doing very, very well in fighting. One of the most improved fighters in the game of mixed martial arts. Quinton came in as a wrestler and then he already knew how to punch from well shall we say some street activity yes because he, he's never been one to back down from a fight but under the careful tutelage of Colin Oyama Quentin Rampage Jackson has become a dangerous force both standing and on the ground yeah I think you like to say Stephen he's improved in everything I, I I see this guy here as the as the new champion. He is so well rounded now. I think he's very hard to stop. He's got to go through Mikael Inukin tonight, but I I don't see it as a problem for him. But you never know. Well, you know, originally he was scheduled to fight Vandaly Silva on this card, but Vandaly because he has knee surgery had to not do that because. So we got to wonder: Is he still as motivated? to fight his opponent from Russia, or has he lost focus? I hope not, but one thing is for sure, that when Quentin steps in that ring, he brings bravado, skill, and rage and rampage. And ladies and gentlemen, watch his body slams. I'm saying it every time, I tell everybody, when he fights, he loves to slam people. That's his term, that's the words that he uses. And he's doing it in every match. People know he's gonna do it, but for some reason, they can't stop it. In the ring, the man himself with his faithful chain, Quinton Rampage Jackson. Okay, now this man has got a, quite a few mixed martial arts fights. Mikhail Ilukin from Russia is a training partner, as we said earlier, with the Pride Heavyweight Champion. Uh, but I think the Pride Heavyweight Champion, Pedro Emilianenko, his training partner, came in with boxing, and this guy comes in with submissions to help the Russian top team become a more well-rounded team. Yep, uh, you're exactly right. And you know what also, we also said it before, but can he use those submissions because can he take the fight to the ground? We also hoist Grace against Sakuraba. Phenomenal submissions, but he could not bring it to the ground. He could not bring it to his game. And I think this is going to be very difficult for Mikael also to do, although you told me that he's got some phenomenal takedowns. Yes, he does. Uh, Mikael, in my estimation, his only shot at winning this fight is by submission because in the stand-up Quentin Jackson has knocked out K1 fighters. Mikael has been knocked out by guys who weren't even close to K1 level. Mikael has got to get the fight on the ground, got to go for the leg, got to do some sambo. Yep, and one thing I noticed from Quentin from sitting here at ringside, and again you folks at home cannot see it, he is not wearing shoes, which is a very smart thing, so he obviously knows that he goes from Sambo and he's good at leg locks. If you're wearing shoes, you're more easy to catch in the leg lock than when you're not wearing shoes. Okay, and at 36 years old, he's really resigning a lot of natural energy against the 24-year-old Quentin Jackson. That's a 
year disparity. I learned from the best, and that'd be you, bro. Thanks. Every time Jackson comes into the ring, he brings excitement. He's become a star here. Look at that stare. But I don't think that the uh, Russian fighter who's been in with the humongous six foot eight, Ricardo Morais, and gave him a beating before he lost a very Look. tough match. Look what Quinton does. He's giving a yellow card to the referee. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who told him to do that. Oh. Um. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Quinton Jackson, no stranger to the yellow card either. There we go. <laughs> that was slick. He saved that one. <laughs> that was good. You're going to get it back. That's what he said. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the referee's going to really be waiting for the opportunity to give him a yellow card now. <laughs> yellow card means you get a 10% point, uh, ten percent deduction of your purse and lose a point in scoring, but the referee obviously isn't being scored. So, Quinton coming out. Uh, shutting down the takedown. Expect the knees. Will Quinton want to grapple with this guy? I think it's a mistake. No. He should stand back no, up. No, no, oh, no, no. no. Don't let him get the card either. Keep that one leg in between. The wide. Mikhail, Go straight into the guard. Mikhail got what he wanted. That, yeah, that's, oh, look at this. I've never seen this. He's just picking people up, and he's doing it all the time, and he's doing it with everybody. Yeah, Mikhail trying to throw his own right hand, and, yeah. but Quentin may be unstoppable here. No one is unbeatable, as we saw in our last Pride when Fedor beat Noguera, but... The chances are good. Oh, Quentin, watch the throw. Oh, here we go. Watch oh, this. He's got the guillotine. Quentin has got to be careful here. He's got to pull his way out. Oh, oh that was a close. Wow, because this guy's got arm strength to boot. Good body shots. Mikael doing what he has to do in getting the fight on the ground and working already for one submission attempt. Quentin knows he can't look past this guy. He cannot look past the man from Russian top team. And Mikhail knows this being his pride debut, he's got to make an impression. Quinton thought, okay, I'm going to get my yellow card back here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he's going to pull out. Watch this, he's going to throw him again. He's going to lift him up. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> it's uh, it's just crazy. One thing about Quentin, he can do some bursting punches here. Yeah, and he should. But there's a reason, because he's thinking really well in fighting. Mikael tries to go for the reverse figure four, which he's going to get. Quentin should get out of the half guard right now, because otherwise... He yeah. might lock it up. He grabs his, the inside of his leg here, the behind his knee, which is very good defense, by the, by the way. But Mikael, if he would explode now, he could pull it out. Quinton should now escape the guard. So even if Mikael is going to get it, he can roll out. Well, Mikael trying for the submission early in the match, but Quinton is still fresh. Yeah, but doesn't seem worried at all. No, I know, but you have to watch out. He's, He's got, got to get full He's got to step out now. Yeah, he stepped the leg, not the, the other leg of Quentin, but still, now he got, Quentin's got to get out to the side. We saw a similar thing tried one time by Valentine over him with Gary Goodrich. Valentine almost tried the exact same move on Gary, and Gary ended up ending the match shortly after with strikes. Will Quentin do the same thing? He's not quite in position because Mikael's leg work is preventing any knees, and the only thing Quentin can do is chop with right to the body, which he can't get a great deal of power. 
it could be a, 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 a it's it could be a bait because Miguel is throwing a lot of energy to, right now. He's non-stop trying to pull the arm out, and there's a lot of pressure on it. So it could be a bait. I would use this defense as a bait, not as a real defense, because real strong people they can break it. Exactly. That's why the, with Goodrich the Overeem, Goodrich was too strong to yep. be submitted by this move. This is a tough move to get. Look at this, and now we can set up for a triangle choke even way. So Quinn's uh, got to he's got to really watch out. He's now. Gotta, yeah. He's got to explode up, strike his arm out and explode up. Now it's going to be dead. He's got to watch out. He's grabbing the back. This is a perfect defense. Right textbook, right boss with the big book of combat here. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug. I'm thinking if this match goes to standing, Quentin is going to do some serious damage. Because I all this energy. He's, 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 he's rolling out. He's got to roll out. Nice. Whoa, beautiful nice. escape by Quentin Jackson. Whoa! Oh, what a knee! And there we go! Like I said there before, we go. folks, it's gonna be over! It's, it looks like it's over, folks. Like I said, back when they stood back up. Whoa, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, if you really want to see good pictures of this event, fightscene.tv, that's the newest magazine. They got, they covered the pride, big pictures. Okay, Mike Miguel just got a yellow card from the referee. We didn't see it on the camera angle because he fell out of the ring to escape being stopped. Well, it's, it's, I think it's gonna be close to a finish right now. Yeah. I think Quentin's gonna stop him. There it's, we go. That, that's it, that's it. Knee to the head. He doesn't want to fight anymore. Oh, and a right straight. It's going to be ground and pound for Quentin. Quentin is devastating in this position when he can rear back the punches like that. Quentin should stand back up and finish this in a kickboxing match. Mikhail has no defense, apparently, to Quentin's standing assault. He tries for a shot. It's easy to block Quentin with a knee to the crown of the head. Same thing, Quentin should stand up right now and just continue with what he was doing. Turn, ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you want to learn more about your favorite fighter, then check out the Pride website, pridefc.com. You can read everything about Quentin, about his opponent. Everything is on there. Mikhail nice. eating another right hand, and Mikhail trying to pick the leg. But as we saw against uh, Kevin Randall, and Quentin's takedown defense is superb. And who gets taken down? Who ends up on his back? But Mikhail Ushin. Yeah, this is going to be a victory for Quentin if not something really strange is going to happen. And listen, I can't wait to see Quentin in the tournament. Well, we already saw an upset earlier tonight with Anderson Silva losing to Takase. Will we see the same thing? I'm betting no. And I'm betting that when he, when he gets... Uh -oh. oh, look at this. Don't make me wrong. Or again, I've been wrong before, folks. Don't want to be wrong right now. Yeah, it's, uh, not, it's if, not like we always were. Right? Yeah, <laughs> right. But if Quentin gets past Mikael, that... Tournament. Oh, he's gonna rain these now. Watch this. Oh, 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 he's gonna drop him. Knees to the side. That's what his corner is shouting to Quinton, which is very good because right now that's where the liver is located. Oh, oh, look at this. He's doing the Kevin Randleman monster mash. He should go to the body. That's what he should do. Perfect. That's what he oh, should do. Oh, he tapped. He tapped. He tapped. Deliver, ladies and gentlemen. Deliver. Wow. You're absolutely right, El Wapo. It was the right knee to the liver yeah, of the guy out. And I'll tell you what, when Rampage Jackson really looked devastating, and he seems to be tearing through everyone and seems unstoppable. He is unstoppable. It's, uh, he's, he keeps going. Well, what is the time, Mr. Fight? Professor, uh, give the, it to me, baby. The, the time was a TKO by Ref by tap out. Six minutes, 26 seconds. Quentin Rampage Jackson advances to the total elimination 2003 tournament. Can you wait to see Quentin in the tournament? No, I can't because it's it's. This this guy, they got to put him in the other side of the bracket of Vanderlei Silva because they, <laughs> he is, he's just unbelievably staring through people like it's uh, it's rice paper. It's crazy. Total elimination 2003. That's the tournament we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so far we got Quentin Jackson. We've got Alistair Overeem. We've got Vanderlei. We've got Kazushi Sakuraba. Four names of devastation. 
Oh, we saw the yellow card. <laughs> we saw the yellow card, Quentin. Fortunately, he gave instead of got that time. Yeah, we saw quite a pass here. And here we have Ray Sifu, a very good fighter, top fighter from the K1 here in Japan. Is Quentin Jackson unstoppable? I yeah, I told you, I said, it, I, you know, he is our favorite fighter, one of our favorite fighters. We really respect this guy. He improved so tremendously, like no other fighter in, in, in the fight business in a short amount of time. You know what? He had quite a bit to say about Vanderlei Silva, and we were worried that he was looking past Mikael to uh, Vanderlei, didn't we? <laughs> yes, I know. You know, I spoke to Quentin about Vanderlei, and well, let's get direct to the point. Here is what he said. Hello? 